I am Sam, born 3rd of March 1921, and I was a part of the army before my life took a turn. They even based a movie off me, Captain America they called it, and this is my story. This is our unit watching a film in 36. This is us on our base using our telephone in 37. My favourite pastime is TV though. Here's our photo of us in 38, the unity and connectedness of us all sitting around this one TV set. And then, in the midst of battle, I remember losing my footing in the snow and fell to what seemed an undeniable death. I was frozen alive. And then a miracle occurred. An enigmatic re-emergence like a phoenix rising from the ashes. I was alive. I was alive. But then everything changed. We're watching the digital age. Information in the broader sense comes to us on the same device. This is a newspaper, a TV screen, a camera, a theater, a file cabinet. A radio, a walkman, a yellow pages, an editor, a travel agency. I even started a Facebook, Instagram and YouTube page of my own for my favourite show. We're fully in charge of all the posts and everything about the page. It's like we're the producers. There's no more fan clubs, it's all done online and on forums. Examples where communities began to produce media to share ideas among themselves. Right. The fan communities I've spent much of my career studying write stories not because they want to get in the industry or they want to make money but because they love telling stories and they want to tell stories to each other it's hard work though it feels like a, a job, job, or job or almost. Almost. we used to have to fight over who got the tv in the 90s until tivo came along and then we could record shows and skip commercials then ads came back on platforms such as youtube unless i paid a subscription for netflix or stan Speaking of Netflix, it's filled with US TV shows. I've watched so many, I'm wearing American clothing head to toe. Imperial overstretch in 700, over 700 bases around the world, combined with the tremendous vested interest in perpetuating it, add that the correct word for it is empire. And there was a slight problem though. Half the shows I couldn't access because I was in Australia. Lucky my neighbor Joe taught me how to use a VPN. Now I can access it all. Using a VPN service allows you to log into a server located in a place from where the content is available. And voila, you have access to previously blocked content. Rid of one of the most anachronistic, most un-European and most analog practices on the internet. Uh, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's this right here. Geo -blocking. Geo -blocking. I love how it is now. We are more connected, they say, but are we really? I do sometimes wish I could go back to how it was with all of us sitting around the TV together. TV, together. TV, together. TV.